Well, getting past the drama and getting back to business. In fact, the process is starting today with trying to fill a Cape Coral City Council seat. Right. Seven men and women are in the running for Patty Cummings' seat. Cummings faces felony charges, accused of lying about where she lived when she won her seat on council last year. After her arrest last month, she boldly returned to work the very next day, refusing to step down. But then Governor DeSantis gave her no choice and suspended her. So during these interviews, council members are looking for strengths and weaknesses and a long term replacement. Someone who wants to be on the ballot in 2024 and in 2026. Councilman Tom Hayden talked to us about what he's looking for from the next person who will be the district four council member. Not only are you reading resumes and any backup material that might exist on that particular candidate, but asking questions and see how they handle themselves during those questions. If they struggle with an answer, um, why is that? Um, if they're proficient in certain areas and the answer, well, we know their strengths, but I'm looking for their strengths and their weaknesses so that uh, uh, when I do make my choice, I'm as informed as possible. And you know, you, I think you're always looking for uh, a fit for the, the council members that are up there. How, how will they interact? How will they, will they relate to? Uh, the seven of us that are currently up there. Council members will begin interviewing the seven candidates over the next four days. We'll find out who will represent District 4 at the City Council meeting on December 13th, which is next Wednesday. It's important to note that Patty Cummings has pleaded not guilty to third degree felony charges. And if she's acquitted, she can return to council. The names of everyone who applied is on winknews.com.